distorted. Um, what if this one? Watch the other parts. It's like, what if Deku was the key or something like that? Not very far. I haven't really read any more chapters of God of High School. You guys really liked that video I posted yesterday. It was amazing, wasn't it? I don't know, some people are complaining their their computers or phones are wrong. It's definitely me talking there. But, um, if I'm not mistaken, that really hurt my ear that time for some reason. But I was left off at the entrance exams, then passing it. So it would be Deku walking into the class. But she would walk into Bakio, Bakugo, arguing with Edi, or Ida, um, arguing with Bakugo, since Bakugo does have his feet on the desk. So walk, he would walk in, and he would have just sat down as class would start with his hello walking in, saying to get ready and all that, and so they would, as he would say that the person who got the highest in entrance exam, calling up Deku, to throw the ball without his cork, as he would grab it, as this would be the child of the, everybody would know him and think, talk about how his parents were heroes, as he would throw it, sending it for 400 meters, as, as I would say without his quirk, and he would say that that's not my quirk, as he would activate his quirk, going to his one tail form, and he says throw with all your strength, and Dick would say okay, as four more tails would pop up. As he would burn it with fire. And he would throw it. As he would, he would kick down. Throwing a flame at it. Hitting it against it. Blasting it off. Getting 200 meters. As that would be. Or not 200. I mean 2000. As it would be Bakugo's turn. As people see Bakugo start glowing with lightning, then explosions afterwards. As this would surprise Deku seeing it. As he wonder what this power is. As Bakugo with the explosion with the quirk at his strongest point. What would make it go flying all the way to the same amount of points as Deku? So they would tie. Maybe he would get a little farther, but they're around the same area. Then it's the race. De Deku and Bakugo would be able to pass Vita. Is it 20%? Deku faster than Ida. I think if Ida is the reciprocal burst, he is faster. But only like for a short moment with him having it on. But Deku, I would say in this one, Deku would actually have the upper hand in speed this time. With the passing Bakugo. And grip strength, Bakugo get the higher in it. And what else? Long jump, I would say Deku would get higher in that one. And for the long amount of race, Deku would get it since Bakugo has to stay in full. It's full cow, but you know, explosion bursts. If he adds his cork to it, it it lowers how long he can use it. And everybody would pass except Invisible Girl. But 
she wouldn't be expelled. As what, as I would said, just like normal. And so it'd be a day later, as all my walk city, seeing I am here as your combat instructor. As he would have told them to go to their, go to the place and take their he hero costumes. And so they would. I didn't really think of how Deckies would look. But since he does martial arts, I'll say it has to do with some thing that, like, they would wear loose enough and not too baggy. So, yeah. Because it would be time. As the parents would be Deku and Naraka and Ida and Bakugo as the villains in this one. Just like main canon. As they start. But as they start, Deku would just tell Naraka just to wait as he would put his hand on the ground as he would create flame foxes. Which I'm not, I'm pretty sure since I've seen the chapter that had this in it, where he actually can do that. If I'm not mistaken. And he would launch them through the area. And on the screen you can see Bakugo kicking and punching and exploding his way through these things. As they would continue for going. As they would run into Bakugo, Bakugo would run at Deku, Deku would release more foxes, as you can see Bakugo punch through them, and would throw a smash towards Deku. If Deku seen this, he would have put up one of his legs, he would kick up, singing the shockwave of flames, which would meet with the canceling it out. As he would run towards him with the tape wrapping around his wrist, jumping over him, pulling him back. As Bakugo tries to pull down on Deku with his one frog, Deku would have stabbed one of his foot into the roof. Both of them keeping him up there. And he pulled Bakugo, sending him up towards him. As he would kick his way out of the concrete, smashing his feet into his stomach. Smashing him through a floor. As Bakio would get up in his brain, he would say 20% full count or full explosion burst where he would have it go throughout his whole body instead of having a short burst of 20%. As he would explode, he would shoot an explosion towards Deku, which Deku would do the same thing, throwing a kick. But after he does this, Deku would see a light beam through all the smoke as he would dodge this, jumping backwards. As this would be tiny EP, a armor piercing shots. As Deku and Umbaka shoots long range explosions at him through his hands. And would blast up as Deku starts this, trying to throw an explosion at him as he would be met to the chin with a kick. Deku activating his fried tail form instead of flying back. As this kick would send him through the roof to hurt him. As Deku would follow up this attack by kicking upwards, sending flames up there, smashing him through another floor. Once he would jump up there, Deku would trying to knee him in the stomach. As Bakio would throw a kick towards Deku's head, as Deku would have got hit, sending him down to the floor. 
but he could rebound himself. Then would have threw a high kick, then a low kick, then a midway kick. Which Bakio thought he was going to do the same move that he used against him before, or used against one of his friends, where he seen him do this before. But he changed it up, Bakio says, in his head. As he would have, he was about to fall down from it, but he would pick himself up, as he would throw an explosion, point blank at Deku. Which deck would be hit with it, would be sent through a wall. As people would see some cut marks on Deku, and Baka would have some cut marks also from being hit hard enough, Deku would be bleeding through the nose with a cut on his cheek. As Deku would put his hand in front of his face, revealing it with his cut being gone, and he wiped away the blood. Since, you know, this dude has regenerated the abilities in this form. As it seems like most of the damage Bakugo just did got healed. And Deku would have got ready. As he would dash forward. And he would try to knee Bakugo in the face. His back would block it, but he would get barraged in the arms by Deku's knees. As he would, after this would happen, he would just continuously got barraged by Deku, kicking at him. As he would have threw a smash towards the ground, which would rebound and hit Deku, send him back. As he would throw an explosion with his smash, this time through the hallway, then follow it up with his gauntlet, shooting both of them off at the same time. As Dick, Dick would see this after he gets hit by the explosion with the smash, as he would, he would jump up in the air, and he would throw a kick. Throwing a flame, like, slice, you know, from the, sh the thing like that, from, yeah, you guys know. As it would hit against it, as the explosion would hit with it and explode the ground and buy them, as Deku's kick would melt through the, um, buildings behind where he just, behind the building that they're in. As they both be hurt, sort of, from the backlash of both of their attacks hitting. As Dick would get up, and do transforming from his transformation and all that, Spocko would have full cow be turned off. Dick would dash forward, throwing kicks. Even though Baku does have explosion still, without full cowling, Deku, without his quirk, he can still move around much quicker than him. So it would end up with Deku kicking off one of the walls, spinning, and kicking him on the side of the head, then following it up with another kick to the leg, then a kick to the gut, smashing him into a gr into the ground. This Deku would have transformed for a second into his first tail form, as he would sit back on the wall, as he would try to regenerate some of his wounds and all that. He would Regenerate a couple cups on his arms and chest, but he was still really pretty damaged. Going back to his base, going up with little Rocco where she is, as he would jump up the floors. Ida would be confused as he's about to kick little Rocco. 
as he would be above him, smashing his fist into his helmet, breaking it, and throwing another fist, hitting him in the face, launching him back. As Ida would get up and start throwing kicks at Deku, as Deku would meet one of his kits, breaking through his armor, hitting his shin with it. As you'd see Ida and Deku's shins, like, spread open and have wounds, and they'd squirt out blood. As Deku would spin, activating some flames, not really be able to turn into his tail's form and would cut through Ida's armor and cutting him in the process as it would be done as they were called reckless because they went too far and was supposed to be training as the cover girl would come in and go to heal them but they could say he's fine He'll heal himself later, whenever he's training. As he, it would be the end of the school day, as everybody else got out of the infirmary if they got hurt, or Baco did. People would see Deku jump off onto a pole, jumping onto the roof. And people are kind of confused to how Deku's acts. Since normally most of the people here, like, you know, Froppy and everybody else, has not really had any training with their quirks. Like, they used them and all that. Like, Ojiro probably had training with his quirk. That's about the only person that actually has fighting experience, but looking at Deku and Bakugo, they seem to know how to fight a bit. And Deku knows martial arts like Jiro. Even without his quirk activated, he's still strong enough to take down Ida with his engine quirk and match his speed a bit. And he has regenerative abilities and his powers do confuse people as they know who his parents are by Todoroki talking about it. How he has like a perfect mix of his father and mother's quirk. Which very well makes him uh really could put him in the top ten very quickly if he gets out of eBay. But there's this talk about how he acts where he's nonchalant about stuff and fighting. And if he ever gets hurt, he has that regenerating ability, which confused them since they don't think that's not classified as a quirk, right? Since he seems to have multiple abilities. But yeah, the storm will end it off because I'm tired. Goodbye. I'm probably going to make a part of um, the god part of Naruto. I am pre-recording series right now, just to explain that, where I can chill and focus on my work for a couple weeks, and all that, I'm just telling you that, so, bye, like, comment, subscribe, that's what people say, I don't know, do what you want.